So the other day I got a question from one of our members who was creating a table of contents with Camtasia. So I just wanted to remind you that this is what the Camtasia table of contents looks like. It's You can put it on the left or right, but you know, it's just the list of all the different lessons or topics uh, that you want them to be able to go to. You can just choose whichever one you want. You don't have to go in order and you can click around and see different parts of the video and then if you want to go back later and just do one thing, find one thing in it, it's a lot easier to do that. So that's great and we've taught that a lot of different times Lon and I in these coaching sessions and during all of the different uh, Camtasia trainings we've done. But what we didn't teach is how do you get a subtopic in here? So if I wanted the introduction, say, to, to cover these two topics, I would want them indented a little bit. And, you know, it's basically nested is another word for it. And there really is no easy way to do that uh, just using Camtasia by itself. There's, there is a workaround. So I'm going to show you so I've opened up that video that you were just seeing with the table of contents. I've opened it up in Camtasia. And well, by the way, this is Camtasia 2018. So it's got the library separately here on the left. Just letting you know in case you were wondering why, why does her interface look a little different? But I've opened it up and you can see all the markers down here. So if you've never created a table of contents, shift M on your keyboard and you will get another marker. So I just added one over here. Now notice that you name it and this becomes the, the lesson in, in your table of contents. But what if you wanted this one here and I want to have, there was going to be an introduction in the front and this is what I wanted to have say in the introduction. So I wanted that to be indented over as a subtopic. Well, here's what doesn't work. You can't put your mouse here and like add a bunch of spaces and hope that it's going to indent under the main lesson. Uh, you can't use the tab or anything like that. None of that works. It just doesn't show up as spaces. It just looks like at the same level of every, as everything else. So this is what you have to do. You have to use what's called the character map. So if you search for it, by the way, I'm in um, Windows 10. I just started typing C-H-A-R and I got the character map. So this is what it looks like. This this is what you would use if, say, you wanted to also add a special character to the marker name, like, I don't know, a copywriter. That little R thing. There's a few little things you can't get on the keyboard that you get here. So the first thing you do is you make sure that advanced view is checked, and then you type in here N quad. I don't know what that means, but N quad. And then it defaults to a little space here and you just click select and then copy. And then you can right click and hit paste. I might do two of those just to get enough of an indent. All right, now that is actually going to show up because you'll see when you click share and choose the custom production settings and go next. When we get to the table of contents, you see that it's got that space in front of it. Whereas if I just hit the space bar or a bunch of periods or something, none of that works. None of that looks right. So that is basically the way to do it. I'm going to just go ahead and produce it and so you can see kind of what it comes out to look like. And here it is. I only produced a selection of it, just that teeny little bit so it would produce faster. And see, now you can see it's indented. So now you know a little workaround here 
for getting special characters, including the spaces you need to make a subtopic.